One of the initial arguments raised by the defense was that the Laquan McDonald shooting video didn't show the angle of the shooting from Officer Jason Van Dyke's perspective. So this 3D animation looks to correct that, but it could prove controversial. Take a look at it for yourself. This is what the jury actually got to see in court yesterday. Jason Freeze took to the stand. His company created this digital animation, and it was used to argue that Laquan McDonald was moving closer to Jason Van Dyke before he fired his gun. It also included an aerial view. Freeze says he went through several drafts and could only go off of the information provided by defense attorneys, but he says he stands by the video, including its assertion that McDonald was upright for the first five shots that were fired. He said it's all based on laser analysis and the autopsy report findings from the defense's forensic pathologists. Using the video, using everything we had, recreate the steps of, of all the officers as best we could and recreate the steps of Mr. McDonald um, and then put it all together uh, in a final process. So the final process is track everything, make sure it fits, fits the video, um, and that's the final step of our analysis. And that's just more evidence the jury is going to have to consider in this case if they're going to decide whether or not Jason Van Dyke is guilty of first degree murder. Now, we've had shorter court days than expected this week. The defense expected to have more witnesses today, but this could be in the jury's hands for a verdict by the end of this week or early next week, thinking Monday or Tuesday.